Second best thing to a brisket is having leftover brisket. I'm Kenna with Kenna's Kitchen, and today I'm gonna show you what to do with your leftover brisket, and I'm giving you my top three recipes. Brisket grilled cheese, Philly cheese brisket, and a brisket hash. Let's get right into it. Recipe number one. It's number one for a reason. Brisket grilled cheeses. I swear I would make a brisket just to have a leftover brisket to make brisket grilled cheeses. Mmm, I'm, mm, I'm in a good place right now. Okay, so this is my leftover brisket that I have. I have a video somewhere showing you how to make a brisket my way. We are gonna use the flat. The flat tends to be drier and I feel like with all the cheese and the way that it's prepared, it moistens it right back up. So first things first, we're gonna cut the flat. And remember, you're still gonna cut against the grain, so on the flat, you're cutting it like this. Not a super thin cut, but not a super thick cut either. Probably about three slices, depending on how big your person is that's eating. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> depending on how big your brisket is and how many people you're feeding. And the colder your brisket is, the easier it will be to cut. All right, let me start out my flat iron. If you haven't seen this thing, this is from Steel Made. If you want one yourself, link will be in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. So I'm just putting one side on here. So we're going real American. We've got Wonder Bread. I've got Kraft Singles, Dukes. Got any Georgia fans out there? You're gonna take your little bread. Now Travis and I, we like to mayo our bread. These slices should not take you more than two, three minutes to cook. You're really just heating them up. You're kind of getting them crispy on the outside again. I'm just gonna sprinkle some water on there because they look like they're calling for some moisture. Give them a flip here. Now I personally like to break mine up into smaller pieces and kind of like pile it on the sandwich. Travis likes to keep it more of like a slice. So do what you want in that regard. All right, two pieces of cheese. All right, we got, the, we got the thing. We're gonna put it on medium heat because we don't want to burn it. You never want to go real high when you're dealing with butter because your butter will burn and your insides won't melt and that is not a combination you want. So you're gonna go like a medium low. We're gonna go cheese side down first. Yeah, slap it down. Don't be afraid. We're gonna add some more uh, butter. And also, do you guys like to squish your grilled cheeses down to like nothing or do you like to leave them? All right, that looks pretty damn good. All right, we're gonna flip. It is done. Remember, medium low heat for your grilled cheeses because everything's already cooked. Boom. Top recipe number one. Yummy. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. All right. That's the brisket grilled cheeses. Let's move on to the Philly cheese briskies. These are delicious and messy and sloppy and greasy and just mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna need some green pepper and onion. That's just a standard. A Philly cheese normally calls for provolone, but honestly, like provolone. I don't know. Last time I had it, it tastes like feet. So I don't think I ever wanna buy provolone ever again. Same with Havarti. I hate Havarti cheese. All right, so for the grilled cheese, we used the flat, we added some moisture. For this one, we're gonna use the point and we're gonna cut it a little thinner. It has a good amount of fat. And that should be enough for a sandwich right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut it in half here too, because I don't want them as big pieces. Because you're channeling that like cheese steak. There's thin, small cuts of ribeye, technically. So we're gonna want to recreate that type of meat. If you want, you can, you can grab like a bell. That'll speed things up. So I just got a hoagie roll. If I was making genuine Philly cheesesteaks, I'd get like a deli sub roll, you know? All right, brisket's going on. We got a hot plate here. Feel free here now to give your veggies a little salt, give your brisket a little salt. Take your little hoagie, put some butter in your hand. I'm gonna add mayo on it. I know it's not classic Philly cheese, 
but we really like, whoo, it's popping. We really like mayo in our house. That's great. All right, I'm gonna mix them up here. Ready? Mm, okay, we got a little bun. That seems like the right size. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can spread that out a little. Some cheese on it. The cheese really isn't gonna melt because we don't have like a top source. So if you take, cover it. Philly cheesesteak. Oh man, we're eating good tonight. Test bite time. That is messy like a Philly cheesesteak should be. That is recipe number two. Recipe number three. The old brisket hash. And I've got here some good old classic frozen hash browns. All right, we're gonna go a little layer here. Push it down here. I am gonna be using the flat for this part. I'm gonna be cubing that up and the flat to me tends to hold together better as I'm cooking it longer, the point tends to fall apart. It is so tender, so moist. Have I told you guys the story of this pan? I don't think so. It is not what I thought it was gonna be. Got it off of Amazon a couple years ago. I thought this was gonna be a full size eight inch pan. Turns out it's an eight centimeter pan and I did not know. The wish.com. So, yeah, I wanted a 10 incher and I got a 10 centimeter, so. Story of my life, you know? Tell me about it. The potatoes are almost done. We're gonna warm the brisket up real quick, make the egg, and then construct our hash. Come with me and you'll be eaten in a world of pure imagination. Now we're not doing anything fancy with the egg. Normally I like to put a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Now we mix. Go ahead and add it into your potatoes. At this point, you can kind of add whatever you want. If you like them smothered, covered in dice, go ahead and do that. But today, we're going super simple. Let me know in the comments what you end up putting in your hash. Going in. So now you just take your little egg that you've prepared. Oh, it's beautiful. A beautiful breakfast meal. Dirt. <laughs> wow, that's a bite right there. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, but that's pretty good. Mm, yeah, recommend every time. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. That was the top three leftover brisket recipes that I know of. They are so, so delicious, so I hope you give them a try. Let me know in the comments what you've tried. Peace out, Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh.